I'm Ben Franks. And I'm Holly Carter. And this is Ready Nation. Welcome to Ready Nation, a show where you can catch all the latest news on your Henderson Readies. The Ready Men's basketball team has a brand new leader. Henderson State Athletic Director Kale Gober has named Doug Nichols as the new head coach for the Ready basketball team. Nichols comes to HSU after spending the past season at Arkansas Tech as an assistant coach where he helped guide the Wonder Boys to a 25-6 record, a GSC West Division title, and an appearance in the NCAA South Regional Semifinals. Before his time at Tech, Nichols also served as an assistant at Stephen F. Austin and Angelina College. Nichols is the 27th head basketball coach in 99-year history of the Henderson program. Now, Nichols has already begun recruiting, but will hold off on hiring his own staff for now. Spring training is well underway for the Ready football team. The Ready scrimmage for the second time this weekend. The Reddy's first scrimmage was a good sign for things to come this next year. Junior quarterback Nathan Nall completed 15 of 20 passes for 218 yards and two touchdowns. Defensively, junior linebacker Robbie Aldridge stood out for the Reddy's with three tackles for a loss and two sacks. 80 players are going through spring drills for the Reddy's. The team's annual Sporty Bowl will be held on April the 16th. When we come back, who won the baseball battle of the Ravine Series? Ben will tell you right after the break. Welcome back to Ready Nation. All right, it was Battle of the Ravine Diamond Style this past weekend as the Ready baseball team played host to the Washita Baptist University Tigers at Clyde Berry Field. Unfortunately, the Reddies dropped two of the three games in the series to the Tigers. The team split the doubleheader on Saturday with OBU winning 12-3 in the opener and Henderson taking the second attempt 3-1. In game one, OBU scored eight unearned runs, including four in the seventh inning. In Game 2, senior pitcher Josh Wesson for the Reddies set a new school record with his sixth save of the season. In the final game on Sunday, HSU failed to match runs with OBU and lost 7-2. The combination of defensive errors and strong hitting by OBU proved fatal for the Reddies. OBU managed 16 hits in the game as well. Henderson's next game is scheduled for April 16th when the Reddies host Harding University. The first pitch is scheduled for noon. Right after the break, Holly will tell you whether the Diamond Ready softball team picked up a win over the weekend, so stay tuned. Was the Diamond Ready softball team able to pick up a win this weekend against Arkansas Tech? Unfortunately, the answer is no. In fact, the ladies didn't even score a run, losing both games in the doubleheader. Game 1 ended 3-0, while Game 2 ended 6-0. The Lady Readies have now lost 5 straight and fall to 15-22 overall and 9-7 and in conference play. The ladies begin play in the Gulf South Conference crossover tournament this Thursday. With lots of nationwide sporting events this week, we've got our condensed version of SportsCenter coming right up. Stay tuned. 
I want to write for a magazine. I want to pass. I want to travel. Red beard. I want to be a pilot. You really want to be a rock star. I want monetary success. I want pace. I want breakfast. I want a lovely bunch of coconuts. You got it! I don't cry when my dog runs away I don't get angry at the bills I have to pay Don't put me on a blooper for this is what I, got. I really want to be a rock star is what I got I don't cry when my dog runs away I don't get angry at the bills I have to pay Welcome back to Ready Nation. It was a fitting end to a crazy tournament last Monday as March Madness came to a close in Houston. This year's big dance was full of upsets and surprises with the final game featuring 8th seeded Butler taking on 3rd seeded UConn. It was a slow start for both teams with a halftime score in favor of Butler 22-19 courtesy of a last second shot by Shelvin Mack. In the second half, the Huskies picked up the pace with a 20-2 run over the Bulldogs. This was a deficit that Butler couldn't overcome. The final? 53-41, to 41, a low score. The win gives UConn and their coach Jim Calhoun their third title since 1999, the most wins in the short time for any active coach. Hats off to Butler as well, though. Their trip to the finals is their second in a row. The women will continue the excitement when Notre Dame plays Texas A&M for the final. It's an exciting week for pro golf as well. As exciting as it, as it can be, I guess. That's right. Phil Mickelson will begin his quest to defend his Masters Championship this week. Mickelson tees off late in the day on Thursday at 1.48 Eastern Time. Arnold Palmer and Jack Nicholas tee off bright and early Thursday morning as the honorary starters followed three hours later by Tiger Woods. The Masters will continue until April the 10th. Also getting underway? Major League Baseball season. After most teams have played four games, only four Major League Baseball teams remain unbeaten. Who are they? The Baltimore Orioles, the Texas Rangers, the Philadelphia Phillies, and the Cincinnati Reds. Surprised? I think a lot of people are. <clears throat> In fact, the Orioles are off to their best start since 1997. And Nelson Cruz of the Rangers has homered in every single game so far. Only the third player ever to do so. And Barry Bonds is still on trial for steroids. He's still denying it and claiming he's innocent. Is he? I don't think so, but you can tell us what you think on our Facebook page under Henderson HTV. Feel free to share your thoughts about Ready Sports or Barry Bonds. That's all for today, but be sure to tune in next week for the latest news on your Henderson Readies. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Holly Carter. And I'm Ben Franks, and that's The Score.